think uh, actually Drew and I had a conversation yesterday, a uh, very good conversation. Uh, we had a chance to uh, discuss each other's sides. I had a chance to, you know, state my, my opinions. He had a chance to state his opinions. Um, you know, this is the first day of training camp. It looks like Duke's here. So he's reported the training camp. With regards to the role in this offense, I think that's a question that you can ask Freddie. But I would say that if history is any indicator, he would be a very productive player in this offense. Is still asking for a trade um, That's uh, the business of football I really won't talk about. But Drew and I have had really good conversations. Any change of hurt, John? I mean, last time we talked to you, you said Duke's going to be a vital part. You're not going to just trade him for not what you're looking for. Have you had any inclination to give him up for less because he keeps demanding to be traded? The last time I saw, Duke's a Cleveland Brown, and he's a Cleveland Brown. He's reported. So let's move forward on this. On, on, to me, let's move forward here because we got a lot of goals at stake here in the 2019 season. So let's build together. Let's no, said it from the very beginning. That Duke is a Cleveland Brown. He signed a contract last year. He's going to be here. He's going to have a role in our offense, and he's going to have a significant role in our offense. All right? He's a productive player. We're not giving away good players. Okay? We want good players. And if John can get more good players, I will take them. Don't worry about the ball. All right? We'll find enough balls for them. All right? We just want good players that can make plays. All right? What do you think is going to be the hardest thing for this team to do during training camp? Well, I think, you know, what you have to do, uh, here's what training camp is so important from my perspective, and, and Freddie may have a, a different thought on this. Well, when you have 91 guys going into training camp, like I said, every team is different every year. Now they have to come together as one. They have to come through and understand how to fight through those adverse moments. What I want to see is I want to see all these guys come together as one. And it starts in that locker room with that veteran leadership. And those veterans there can, can bring this bunch together. And then, you know, that's what's going to form your identity. But I think you have enough good chemistry within that locker room to actually have a really productive, strong-minded team. Because at the end of the day, block out the, wor the words. You know, training camp's about action. Day in and day out, it's about action. All right, so one of the tough things, you want to meld them in as one, right? But you got 90 guys, and you know in about a month you're going to have 47 guys or 53 guys. Mm -hmm. So you're going to build all this camaraderie, then you're going to blow it up. <laughs> now you're well, going you to get rid to. of guys. I mean, I, I think some of the you're, – you're assuming the guys who get cut are the ones that are going to, you know, that that's going to affect the camaraderie. I'm not sure. Well, it'll it will. affect it with the guy who gets cut. Yeah, it will, it will, it will affect, <laughs> all those, his, it'll all affect those, his attitude. All those with jobs take one step forward. Hey, you, where are you going? No, I think, you know, the, these guys know that some of the people that are in camp are here to be bodies in camp. Right. So I think to and some And quarterbacks extent, are there for arms, to be um, arms. But, yeah, I mean, I think the interesting thing, Les, after seeing Freddie Kitchens make a big deal, and rightly so, I think, out of the way Hugh Jackson was using guys and letting guys sit out training camp practices – last year on Hard Knocks, and Todd Haley was right there along with Freddie. It's going to be interesting to see how he handles that. You know, he's got to get a team ready for that first game. Yeah. Is he going to allow guys to sit out training camp practices? Is he going to insist that, that Odell Beckham and Baker Mayfield and, and the number one offense plays into the third game of preseason? Um, or is he going to say, whew, I'm the head coach now. It's I don't different. want to go into a game. I don't want to go into the season without – Odell Beckham or Jarvis Landry or right. whoever else because well, you they're can't, hurt. You can't be in there worrying about injuries. Uh, you shouldn't, and we'll see whether that his opinion changes in, with his new role as head right. coach. I don't think it will, and I th don't think it should. That You know, you don't beat th – there's no longer these two-a-day practices, right? Right. So you're not really uh, beating these guys up the uh -huh. way they used to get beat up it's back an hour in the and there's 70s no and 80s and 90s, you know? Um, so it, I don't think it's too much to ask these guys to be on the field. And when they have those joint practices with the Indianapolis Colts, you'd like to think that Mayfield and, and Beckham and Landry and those guys are going to be on the field for, yeah. you know, a large, not if a you large don't part, have but them, a healthy part of that. If you don't have them, you're really not doing the job of what getting together is supposed to all be about. We all know that the, the, whoever's been here before Freddie – hasn't done a particularly good job of getting this team ready to play the opener. The, yeah, they've the only record won one shows opener. it. So, 
that's his, uh, you know, that's his, his first uh, duty as head coach is to win the first game and have a team that's ready to play the first game. All right. So he was a strong. He was stronger about Duke Johnson than than John Dorsey was. Mm -hmm. Strong. Well, I mean, John Dorsey's the one who said, you know, are you, when they asked him, uh, "What does Kareem Hunt signing do to does it make Duke uh, uh, expendable?" and he said, "Not yet." You right. Know, but today, he, today, uh, what we just saw, Freddie Kitchens pretty demonstrative that yeah, he's going to look. You know, they'll the be team. playing that clip back when they trade him if he gets traded. <laughs> you know, and it's going to be if they get traded for a fourth rounder. They're going to play that clip back where Duke's or where Freddie says we're not in the business of giving away good players. Right. Excuse me for one second. Hey Brian in the control room, just to mark that spot on the tape. We may need it <laughs> sometime. Well, yeah. what do you think? Let's let's throw one to a hundred. Hundred being absolutely for sure that Duke Johnson is on the team opening day. I think those chances are really good. I, I think those are above ninety percent because um, they need them. Um, I don't think a team is going to, you know, running back, the, the running back market um, isn't, you know, inflated right now right. in trades. So what did they get for Carlos Hyde when they traded him? Six, a, a sixth think. or something. So um, I would think that, you know, nobody's going to come with a second or a third round pick. And if they don't, I don't see Duke Johnson going anywhere Speaking for now.